Hey, I'm Casey, the men's ministry and outreach guy here at Landmark Church in Cincinnati, Ohio. We just uh, want to welcome you to our Wednesday evening prayer service. If you have any prayer requests, you can uh, call the church at 513-771-0960. That's 513-771-0960. Or email them to Pam, and her email address is pam at landmarkcincinnati.com. It's pam at landmarkcincinnati.com. Uh, we'll leave them on the prayer list for, for a while, and we'll pray over them. And uh, if you need that prayer list or want to access it, call that same number, 513-771-0960, or email Pam and, and get it from her. Uh, so we have a lot going on here at Landmark. On July 10th, we have a big youth revival coming up. It's part of our uh, Pray Cincinnati Shine the Light revival that's been going on here in the city. And it'll be at 7 o'clock on July 10th. We want to invite anybody from anywhere to come out. Uh, you don't have to be a youth to attend and you'll get to hear Jamie Rago speak. Uh, he's an anointed guy. He tells some of the funniest jokes you'll ever hear, talks about a verse or two, and uh, he just has a gift of evangelism and people come to the altar and get saved and deal with their issues. And uh, we also, this Sunday, July the 4th, we'll be having an outside service at 11 o'clock. It'll just be one service, you pull up in your car, Cut your radio on the right station, and you can hear the service, or roll your windows down and you can hear it, or get out. We'll have some chairs, you can sit down. Dave Dorflon and Heaven Sent Catering will we'll have some food out there, and it'll just be a good time celebrating this wonderful country we have, and uh, doing what it takes, coming together and praying and worshiping to make it a better country. Um, we have a lot to be thankful for in this country. Uh, a lot of people have died for the freedoms we have, like the one I'm exercising right now talking to you about Jesus and your ability to watch it. A lot of countries don't have that. A lot of places don't have it. There's people being suppressed and we need to pray for those countries. We need to pray for Christians all over the world who are being persecuted and pray for all of our brothers and sisters all the time. The Bible says to pray continuously, to pray without ceasing, to pray in the spirit. And we need to do that for each other. Uh, James tells us that the effectual and fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much. And what that means is a man who prays hard or a woman who prays hard and prays with fervency, pray, prays a, a long time, just keeps praying, stretched out, I think is the word in the Greek that goes there, but just, just praying with their soul stretched out and pleading to God that he will answer that. So if we're made righteous through the blood of Jesus Christ and we pray in that fashion and we pray continuously and we commune with God, which is what we do when we pray. We're coming into the presence of God, not only so he can hear us, but we can hear him. We wanna, we wanna be right there with God. If I walk in my house and my dog just sits in the corner and never pays me any attention, that's, that's not really what I want. But if my dog on his own volition, his own free will runs and just jumps up in my lap and I talk to him, I'm not gonna do it now, but how I talk to my dog, but if I talk to him that way and, and he, you know, through nonverbal and verbal cues, sits there with me, it's a great thing. And that's what God wants from us. He doesn't want us just constantly whining. He wants us to come to him and be with him. And when we pray, it's not just asking God for things, it's coming and being one with him. And you know, Matt talked the other day about, in, in his service Sunday, it was an excellent service, but he talked about the different ways to look at, at us being a triune being like God. You know, we're made in God's image, and there's the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, but they're all one. That's the Trinity. Well, we're made with a, a body and a soul and a spirit. You know, our body, it, it, everything on it's our physical being, and we receive pleasure from that. Whether it's good pleasure or bad pleasure, it's about receiving pleasure. Our soul, our emotions, and our will, and, and everything there, what, what we make up our mind to do, that's all continuous or a continual depends on circumstances excuse me so that that determines our happiness so our soul can be happy based on well I got a bunch of money or I got a new car or I'm surrounded by happy people or things are going good but joy is found in our spirit our spirit is what when we ask Jesus in our heart and we believe in Jesus Christ we believe that he died on the cross that he was raised from the dead and we profess that with our mouth the Holy Spirit comes in and dwells inside of us. And that's where we receive joy. No matter what happens, we can still have joy. Happiness, it depends on other things, other circumstances, other people. 
and pleasure is all about the physical but joy joy the third part the part we get when we're in communion with god that's with us no matter what happens i just got off the phone with todd flug yeah you'll probably know todd if you don't um, Todd's served in all kind of capacities here. He does outreach now. He does small groups. Um, he helps with the youth. Uh, him and Pam did the children. And Todd's got a, a, a leg infection right now. And he had to go in the hospital. And he's sitting in the hospital. And he's uh, he, we need to pray for him. But he's uh, getting antibiotic treatment. And he said, I'm bored. You know, I'm, I'm sitting there watching TV and just on my iPad my leg elevated but you know what he had joy just talking to him on the phone the joy just radiates out of him you see no matter what the circumstances are Todd's got the Holy Spirit in his heart so he's joyful no matter what goes on that's what's spilling out of him onto other people we need to always just take anything that's not of Jesus and, and leave it at the cross anything that that's that's dirty that's worldly that that's um, just bringing us down and say here Jesus take it from me you know you wash your hands all throughout the day especially with this COVID we have to wash our minds and our hearts with the Word we have to go to the Word of God over and over and over Matt spoke on the Word of God the other night Johnny Hunt spoke on the Word of God and um, Ezekiel he talks about eating the Word of God uh, Kim Russo spoke the other night at Unbound about eating the Word of God but when we eat something it determines what comes out of us so if we eat the Word of God then out of our belly will flow living waters the Holy Spirit as we take it in as we consume it as we rewash our brain every day like it says in Romans chapter 12 with that then what's gonna come out of us is joy the Holy Spirit Romans chapter 14 tells us that the kingdom of God is peace joy peace righteousness and joy in the Holy Spirit peace righteousness and joy in the Holy Spirit so we can have peace if we have the Holy Spirit living in us, if we stay in the Word of God, if we abide in Him, He will abide in us. We have righteousness through the blood of Christ and through doing the right thing every day, through following what the Bible says. And we have joy when we take in the Word of God, when we receive the Holy Spirit, when we receive Jesus into our heart, and we wash constantly in that Word, what comes out of us is straight joy. So today, I just want to ask you, pray for people. Pray for people who don't have that joy. Pray that they do. Use intercessory prayer. And let's pray for each other. Let's pray for people in other countries. Let's pray for Bill and Marie Watt. Um, Bill's gone on to heaven. But we can still pray for his family, uh, for Ray Marie and, and all of his kids and grandkids. We can pray for them that they can just continue to have joy, that Bill shared the gospel with all of them, and that they can have that peace as they go on in this time of Bill's passing. To go on through life and, and um, to know that he's in a much better place and the peace of just knowing that God's got him in his hands and we want to pray for the Flug family we want to pray for all the kids that are at camp we have kids right now at Camp Chautauqua we went up there yesterday and it was awesome those kids are learning about Jesus they're they're playing volleyball they're swimming they're hearing great speakers but just pray use intercessory prayer like Abraham did for Lot when he went back to Sodom pray and just keep on praying for those kids if they hear the Word of God that, that it changes them. You know, the Word of God is the only thing that as you read it, it reads you, and it tells you who you are. Pray that those kids see that and that they find the way, they realize that they are fearfully and wonderfully made for God's purpose and that they receive Him into their heart and that they walk out and that they bring revival on not just this church, but this city, this land, and this nation. Um, so let's say a prayer real quick, and uh, I just want you to do that today if you don't mind just go through anything that's not a Jesus ask him to remove it from you pour it out at the cross J just fill yourself back up with the Word of God with some praise music with some worship and time communing with God and praying so if you'll bow your hearts and your heads Lord thank you for uh, this wonderful day we've had here in Cincinnati and, and this wonderful evening we're gonna have thank you for every person who hears my voice right now Every person who's online or at home or in their car or wherever they may be watching this, Lord, help them to take anything, any anger, any unforgiveness, any hate, anything that they're not even aware of, make them aware of it and help them to have the boldness and the courage through the power of the Holy Spirit to leave it at the cross where you died for them, where you did it all for them and you resurrected. Lord, help them to realize that they don't have to cling to that anymore. Help them to fill their body, their mind, 
their heart with your Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Help them to fill it with the word and to wash it, continue it, just like we wash it with our hands every day. And that way that they can share that with other people and they can have the joy that can only be found with you. Be with the Wyatt family, with everything going on there. Be with the Flug family. Be with the Randall family. Um, just be with all the families in this church that are going through things, Lord. If I left anyone out, just help them to know that there are people here praying for them. And that when we don't know when to pray and what to pray, your word tells us that the Holy Spirit's praying for us. And help them to know that that's what's going on. Lord, thank you for this church you've given us. Thank you for, for the heritage you've given us at this church. and Just help it to grow, bring revival on this church. Thank you for every soul that's been saved. Help more hurting people to come to us so that we can introduce them to you. We ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.